We'll guide you through how to stream to Twitch using OBS. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, open up OBS and go and open up your settings. So go to the bottom right and click on settings like so. Then head over to the left and go and click on stream. And for the service, make sure Twitch is selected. Then go down here and what you can do is either enter your stream key, which you can find on your Twitch account, or just click on connect account and you'll get this pop up here and you can just sign in to your account. I've now added my account and then what you want to do is head over to the left and go and click on output. Make sure the output mode is set to simple, just like this. And you want to come down to a video encoder. Click here and see what options you've got. As you can see, I've got X264 and NVENC. You'll only have the NVENC option if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. If you do, select it. If you don't, just select X264, it's fine. Now what you need to do is open up another tab in your browser and search for internet speed test and click on run speed test. We need to just do a quick internet test. Once you've got the results, go and look at your upload speed. And then what you want to do is go to the link in the description of this video, which is called broadcasting guidelines, or you can just go and search for it and you can read through the info here. But what we primarily need is the specs down here. So what we're gonna do is just go and convert the megabits per second to kilobits per second. To do that, you just times it by a thousand. So 18 megabits a second is 18,000. And then what you can do is go and look at the bit right here for the specs. So as you can see, I can easily handle 1080p 60 FPS because this is only 6,000 kilobits per second, which requires six megabits of upload speed. I like to give a bit of leeway as well. So to use this bit right here, I'd recommend you've got an eight megabit upload speed, which equates to 8,000 because other people may be using your internet. So let's say you only had a six megabit upload speed. I'd stream in a max of 1080p 30 FPS. But for me, I can stream in 1080p 60 FPS. So I'll come back here and I don't need to change the bit rate. But let's say your internet speed was only 6,000. I'd lower this because otherwise you'll probably be experiencing lag so maybe lower it to 4500 as it says in the guidelines but yeah that's fine with me 6000 for the encoder preset you can set that to low quality fast it just uh, makes things a bit faster but you can try messing around with that um, until you get the optimum for you and hit apply in the bottom right then head to the left and click on audio and just make sure the correct mic is selected for mic which mine is and then click apply in the bottom left. And you can adjust the video settings according to the bit rate you set. So in my case, I set mine for 1080p 60 FPS. So therefore I've got 1080p 60 FPS selected, and then I've got 60 selected as well. But let's say you were doing it in uh, 1080p 30 FPS, then I'd go and select 30 here. And once you make a change, click apply in the bottom right, and that's it. Close off your settings and go over to the bottom left and click on the plus button. You can create a new scene. In the new scene, you need to come to sources and click on the add button and you can either stream your entire display or maybe a game. I just do my entire display, so I'll click there. Then I'll click OK. You can choose to monitor. I just use this one here and I'll then click OK and it's now there. I'll need to go and resize this just because my monitor is bigger than 1080p, but that won't apply to everyone. And that's it. And if you want to add a webcam, then click on the plus button down here and you can click on video capture device, press OK and wait for this to load and you can then select your webcam from here. I'll just go and use the OBS virtual camera as my other ones aren't connected yet. And I'll just resize this just like so and that is it. And then to start your stream, all you need to do is click on start streaming and that's it. It will say connecting and we're now streaming on Twitch. And of course you can then go to your stream dashboard on Twitch um, to interact with your chat and go and see your stream.